Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to speed up your WordPress website uh, to be as quick as possible. Uh, now I'm going to show you a couple of different tips. The first tip is going to be using a plugin, which is a caching plugin. And then I'm going to show you another way I do things to make all my images as small as possible without using a plugin. So right now in front of me I have a website that I've uh, just uh, recently finished for a uh, restaurant and as you can see uh, it's quite image intensive uh, and if we look at the actual source of the page you'll notice that it's got a lot of stuff on there. Uh, it's got a lot of uh, JavaScript files, it's got a lot of CSS files and uh, there's no minif minification so when you look at all this code you can clearly read it. By minifying it, it's all compacted and it takes less time to load. So what I'm going to do is show you how to install this plugin and how to set it up and show you the differences before and after. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to a website called Pingdom Tools. So if you go onto Google and then you just type Pingdom Tools and click on the website speed test. We want to do a website speed test to, to see how long it takes to load this website. Now I'm based in Australia so it's obviously important to choose the location closest to where you are so that you get the quickest result. Uh, and if your website is based wherever your website is based, if it's a local business usually you're trying to cater to people in the local area. So you want to make sure that you're doing the test from that location. So I'm in Sydney, Australia, so I'm going to choose Melbourne because that's the closest. And I'm going to type in the website address, which is thesawmill.com.au. Uh, now the website's going to do a few tests, and you'll notice that it will give you a result, including the load time, the size of the page, and the performance grade. The performance grade is a Google PageSpeed performance grade. Now if we go here, it's still it's relatively quick already. I mean, it's 81% faster than most of the sites tested on the website. It loads only a 1.51 seconds. But as you can see, the size is 2.3 uh, megabytes and the requests are 46 requests. So it has to hit the website 46 times to get all the information. So we can easily fix that. If we go further down, you'll notice that images, it's 66.2% made up of images, which is 1.54 megabytes and then CSS is 15.3 and so forth. So firstly, what we want to do, uh, now this website is actually telling us what we should do, we should leverage browser caching. Now there is a great plugin you can use. It is a play, paid plugin, but it is a really awesome plugin. Now I, I try my best to stay away from using too many plugins on my websites, but uh, I would recommend WP Rocket to anyone. I have no affiliation with them. I don't get any sort of kickbacks or uh, commissions from telling you about this, but I use this on almost all of my clients' websites and it is an absolute gem. So, obviously to install WP Rocket onto this website, you just have to add the plugin, which I'll do now. And I will just upload the plugin. Okay, and it's almost completed. We'll activate it. Now that's activated, you'll notice at the top right hand corner of the screen, or not the top right hand corner, sorry, at the top of the screen, you'll see something called WP Rocket. Okay, so now you just highlight that and click on settings. Now to set it up properly, we want to make sure that it actually is minifying everything. So we'll make sure HTML is minified. Google Fonts, if you use them on your website to minify them. CSS, it will throw a warning at you just to let you know because some websites, if the CSS isn't clean and it's error free, it can cause problems. So just click OK and the JavaScript as well. And also we want to cache for mobile devices. And then we'll click on save. And then what we'll do is we'll go to, adv uh, to advanced options and go all the way down and click on CSS and JS here as well, which is reducing the number of minified files, which makes the, the website basically compact everything into one CSS and one JS file. 
Okay, we'll hit save changes again. And just to be nice and neat, we'll clear the cache and we will preload it, which means that the WP Rocket bots will visit your site and basically preload all your cache pages or all your pages in cache. And that way, when someone visits your site, they're not hitting your database every single time uh, because WordPress is quite a database intensive website. Um, it's basically just going to load the cached page, which will make it much, much quicker. So now I'm going to log out. Okay. And I'll just revisit the website. As you can see, it already loaded really quickly. If we actually look at the source, you'll notice how minified everything is. It's nice and neat. Everything's all packed into one snippet of code. Uh, and therefore, it just takes less time for your browser to load the website. So now let's go back to uh, Pingdom Tools. And I'm going to duplicate the page so that we can see the old result. And we're going to redo this test again from Melbourne, Australia and start the test. Okay, so it's not a huge difference, but you will notice a difference when you visit the website. As you can see now, the performance grade is 97. The load time is 1.11 instead of 1.51. It's 88% faster now, and it's only 1.9 megabytes instead of 2.3 megabytes. So that just saved us a good 400 kilobytes. And, you know, 400 kilobytes isn't a lot but it can make a big difference on a website. Now you'll notice that this asks to leverage browser caching still. I think that might be, actually that was the, I was looking at the wrong report. So this is actually the new report. As you can see, leverage browser caching is now done uh, and everything is green, which is awesome. So now the website's quite quick. If we go to About Us, if we go to Menu, if we go to Book a Table, you'll notice everything's awesomely quick because it's all been preloaded by this plugin. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you one more thing you can do to increase the uh, website speed even more, especially if your website is uh, image intensive. Sometimes when you add images, I see some crazy stuff. I see people adding images that are 7 megabytes to the website. So whenever someone's coming to your website, they're loading a 7 megabyte file and it just makes it go really slow and it can also affect your actual hosting as well. Uh, so to do this, what I use is a program called JPEG Mini. So if you go on to Google and type in JPEG Mini, and basically what this does is it reduces your JPEG files to smaller files, as in file size, but it retains the same quality. So it's it's actually a really really awesome plugin. You could you can actually reduce a file from one megabyte to two hundred kilobytes, and there not be, not be any difference whatsoever in how they look. Now, when I say plugin, JPEG Mini isn't a WordPress plugin. It's a it's a program that you install on your computer. So you do have to buy this plugin as well, or this program as well. Uh, and if I am correct, there is a trial, obviously, but I believe it's only about $19 uh, and uh, it works works a charm. So I'm going to give you an example of what I do to convert a whole website's images uh, and then re-upload them. There are plugins on WordPress already uh, that, are, that basically will use a cloud service and then resize all your images and bring them back onto your website. But this one, it's a one-off fee. You download the images, you run them through this program, you re-upload them, and then you've got completely uh, minified files of your images, and they'll help your website run as quick as possible. The first thing I've done is logged into the hosting of this website, and I've gone to the file structure for WordPress. So if we go back, you'll notice that I've got the WordPress content folder, uh, and the uploads folder and you'll notice that there are all these images here okay what we want to do is basically just copy go back copy the whole uploads folder uh, right click on it and compress it so we're gonna we're actually gonna compress it into a zip file and we're gonna download it onto the computer so as you can see it's 13.4 megabytes just gonna download that once we've downloaded it 
I'm going to put it into a folder on my computer and I'm going to unzip them onto my computer. Okay. And I'll delete the zip file. So now we have basically the uploads folder from the WordPress website on our computer. Uh, and I'm going to run it through this program called JPEG Mini. Okay, so JPEG Mini, I'm just loading that up and it basically just looks like this. And it's really handy because what you can do is you can just drag the uploads folder into there and it's going to grab all the images out of there and it's going to resize all of them. So as you can see, what it's doing is it's just resizing every single image that's in that folder and you might have to wait a bit. You know, this might not minify that much because I'm pretty good with minifying my images to make them as small as possible. But even if it saves a few hundred kilobytes, uh, it's good for your website, it's good for your customers when they're visiting your website, and it's good for your server so it's not using as much bandwidth. So as you can see, we're currently at saving, oh yeah, there we go, 2.15, even more, okay, so 2.2 megabytes, 4 megabytes, just keeps going. Okay, so that's completed. Okay, so I can get out of JPEG Mini now. And what I'll do is I'll right click on the uploads folder and I'll add it to the archive and add it to as a zip file again and let it re-zip. And as you can see, it's only 8.9 megabytes now instead of 13.5. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to our control panel. We're going to delete that zip folder and we're going to upload the new uploads folder that we just created. So what we're doing is we're just completely replacing all the files in uh, our WordPress uploads folder. That way you won't have any problems with the images on your website. See what happens with WordPress is when you add an image into your media gallery it actually adds it into the database as well and puts the alt tags and all that stuff in the database. So we're not going to touch the database, we're just replacing the images with exactly the same image name and WordPress won't know any better. Okay, so that's nearly uploaded. Now that zip file is uploaded, all we have to do is delete the uploads folder and extract the, the new uploads folder from the zip file and as you can see the uploads folder is now there and I'll delete that zip file now and if we go back to the website now you'll notice all the images are exactly the same there's really no difference at all and I'm going to duplicate this Pingdom Tools uh, website again and do another test from Melbourne and see if there's any size difference at all with the images Okay, so we're on 92% now. Page size is 1.8 megs. Before it was 1.9. Okay, we saved 100 kilobytes. But as you can see, that made a difference. That took us from 88% to 92%. The load time is only 887 milliseconds compared to 1.11 seconds before. And if we go down now, you'll notice that everything's green. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the two plugins are WP Rocket for WordPress and JPEG Mini, which you can then use whenever you need to. Uh, and that, they've really helped me and I hope this really helps you. Thank you.